Have you ever wondered why some saxophonists are able to play their instrument in a way that pulls you in and the music touches you deep to your core, while others play all the right notes, but they don't connect? Well, in this video, I'll break down the five essential elements that you need in order to play your saxophone with soul. Hi you cool cats, Cajun here, the Sax Habit Coach, bringing you the best tips, tools and ideas to help you as a beginner saxophone player develop the practice habits and routines to master your saxophone faster. My purpose here is to serve, motivate and inspire you. So if it's your first time here, consider subscribing and remember to turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload a new video on this channel. So there was a time when I played my sax, right? And there was no soul. There was no connection. And I wondered how can I play in a way that I really connect? Then I got to understand that there is a difference between playing all the right notes and playing with my soul. Now, I have lots of musician friends and colleagues and it usually intrigued me in the past that on many occasions when I've listened to them play, that the music just didn't connect. Now, I'm talking about musicians who can play all the bells and whistles in jazz and R&B, etc. All the musical prowess there is. But the music just lacked that element of connection. Now, I'm not downplaying their music or judging, I'm just reporting. Then I noticed these other cats who knows maybe 25% of what those other musicians know musically, but the music connects with the soul. The larger point here is that there are musicians who play from the head and there are those who play from the heart and the soul, whether or not they can play all the bells and whistles. So let me break down the five ways you can develop the art of playing your saxophone with soul. So the first thing to do is to use your imagination. And if you do, this will work wonders for you. Now, when I'm practicing, I'm not just practicing or focusing on learning the song or the notes. I usually picture and imagine myself performing for an audience or a large crowd or someone who means a lot to me and the joy that I see on their faces and the thrill that my playing gives to them empowers me to just connect soulfully. The second thing to do is to use association. Now, this is where you play songs that calls to your soul and not necessarily songs that are always popular that everyone else is playing. Now, as a performer, you'll be asked to do various songs, yeah? From various genres at events such as weddings, parties, and various church functions. So you don't always get to choose songs that beckons to your soul. So what should you do in such cases? Well, you read the lyrics, find something in there that resonates with you or something you believe will resonate with your audience and use that as the motivation to drive the emotions during your rehearsals. Number three is to practice with the emotions. So I remember when I was part of a church choir and the best songs that we ever did in church were those songs where while we were in practice, we were not just practicing the parts and the harmonies and so on, but we worshiped. So the music embodied us and we embodied the music. So Feel the music from your gut, feel the emotions from your gut on each note that you play and that will give resonance to each note, each phrase, each lick, whatever. You know, don't just play the notes for playing the notes. When you practice playing with emotions, when no one is there with you in the practice room, then it makes it way easier for you to connect when there are actually people listening to you for real in your presence and then you can feed off the energy and the vibe that they are pushing. Now, I know it's difficult at times to play with emotions when all you're playing to is the camera, all right? And that's why you need to practice it. Number four is to use affirmation. Now, this point is not some cuckoo nor mumbo jumbo fairy tale, right? Affirm that you play your saxophone with soul. You have to recognize the power of your words and when you put them out there, you are not only sending out that energy in the universe, but you are training your mind and your beliefs 
So affirm that you are a soulful player, that you naturally connect, and that you are a part of this great cosmos and ordinary things communicate with your soul as well. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I never always played with soul, but then I learned about affirmations and how powerful it is to say, I am good enough, I am great, I am soulful, I am beautiful. And those words drove out doubt and fear out of my mind. So I wrote out about 10 affirmations in my journal. And every morning during my hour of power, I would repeat my affirmations, which included, I am a soulful saxophone player that plays with tons of love and passion. Now, after a few months, my brain wired that in and now it's my reality, it's my experience, okay? Number five is to do self-work. Now, if you're going to play with soul and emotions or whatever other terms you use, you have to understand what soul is. You have to understand your emotions and get in touch with the deeper part of yourself. You have to be engaged in self-development understand your emotions, feel and embrace those feelings, appreciate those feelings. And self-work can be done through various forms, but I personally believe that the first place to start is to look within because everything that you are and everything you will ever be was wired inside of you from the moment you were created. And like a miner going under into the depths of the earth to mine gold, so you need to dig deep within and that is something I have done and continue to do through searching of my soul, meditation, reading, thought, uplifting books and materials regarding personal development and definitely connecting with other souls who are on the same or similar frequency and we reciprocate the energy for the benefit of all. So cool cat, go on out there and play with soul on that soulful saxophone. And as always, Push, play until something happens.